from the outside and Jeremy's Gambit. These two are stride for stride for the lead as they pass the stands. Such a hoot comes away pacing in third. Northwest from the outside drops in fourth, followed by De Niro Pocket. Two lengths. His Majesty is the trainer. On the first turn, Parsons Den for Tony Morgan, leading it by a length and a half. Right there is the one to two favorite Jeremy's Gambit pacing along in second. Two lengths back, such a hoot. Emerging in third, three lengths to northwest in fourth is followed by long shot De Niro Pocket, and the trainer is His Majesty. 27 and 2 for the first quarter. Up the back stretch, Parsons Den for Morgan by two. Jeremy's Gambit with the trip in second. Length and a half back. Such a hoot continues on in third. Here's Jeremy's Gambit. Mike Lachance could wait no longer as Jeremy's Gambit. Last year's winner of over $500,000. He's made $229,000 this year, and he's got the lead. Jeremy Jeremy's Gambit, but he's having to work for it. Morgan not letting him go without a fight with Parsons Den. Jeremy's Gambit clears to a half and 55 and 1. Parsons Den is now back in second. Two lengths back. Such a hoot pacing in the third spot. Northwest is fourth at the rail. Here's His Majesty moving on the outside quickly from fifth after being boxed in behind a sluggish De Niro pocket who's now the trainer. But going off stride there and making a bad break was Such a Hoot who basically took His Majesty to the outer fence. Three quarters in 122. Two and three. Jeremy's Gambit still with the lead, but here comes Parsons Dan on the outside second. Gaining ground on the far outside from third. Here comes Campbell in Northwest, and with a miraculous recovery, His Majesty is back into it. It's Northwest looking for the upset with the lead. His Majesty, out of after incredible trouble, is up for second. Jeremy's Gambit third. Northwest wins it in 152 flat. His Majesty might have been the best with second. Jeremy's Gambit third. Into the winner's circle, the winner of the fifth race, the first elimination for the Hoosier Cup. Number five, Northwest pulling off the upset. Northwest owned by Harry Lock of Oshawa, Ontario. Trained by Richard Gillock and driven to victory by John Campbell. First win this season here at Hoosier Park and his first night of racing, Northwest. Three-year-old Bay Colt by Western Hanover at a family album. Four wins and 17 starts this season. Pacing a mile in a lifetime best, 152 flat. Draw board that will be dr drawn on Tuesday here at Hoosier Park, 5.30. We'll talk about the race a little bit. John, behind the gate, he, he looked pretty relaxed tonight. Yeah, he was very good. Uh, just uh, he, he didn't tighten the line, and uh, I was able to drop in fourth going out of there, and uh, the fractions were, were, were real strong, and that, that helped him. And were you concerned at all sitting back in fourth position whenever there was an exchange of the lead going on up in front of you? Not, not really because the, the fractions, as I said, were going along. If they were going to half in 56 and a half or 57, then you'd be concerned. But uh, as long as they're rolling along like that, uh, I thought if he was good enough, he should get qualified off of that. And at the top of the lane, there was a horse that broke stride. Did that interfere with your horse at all? No, I was lucky. Uh, the horse uh, went uh, to the outside. It actually interfered with the horse that was second and cost him uh, four or five lengths, I think. I think we maybe got lucky a little bit there, but it, it didn't bother my horse at all. And it seemed like that uh, coming down the stretch that your horse was pretty strong all the way through the wire. Yeah, he paced right down to the wire. That's his long stretch. Uh, he's not used to that, but, and he had to keep right on. But he, he paced strong right down to the wire. I was really happy with the way he finished. All right, well, congratulations. We're going to see more action from John Campbell right here at Hoosier Park tonight. Good luck in the rest of the eliminations and the Kentucky Standard Bread. Thank you very much, Tammy. Back up to you, Pete.